There's a lot of rare, secret, and hidden vehicles in GTA Online. And today, I'm going to tell you how to get all of them. Timestamps will be in the description below, as well as chapters, if you want to skip to a certain vehicle that you're interested in getting. Enjoy the video, and let's go. First, let's talk about the all-black police bike. This is one of the coolest bikes in the game. Now, unfortunately, you can't keep this one. You can't store it. But if you can manage to get it and drive it around, it's a massive flex to show all of your friends and anyone else in the lobby. Now, to actually get get this, it's a bit of a process. First, you need to own an agency. That's because you're gonna need to call Amani, and you can only unlock Amani when you have an agency. If you have an agency, awesome, head over to Lester's factory over here. Then what you need to do is call up Amani and request the location of a motorcycle. And that's pretty much it. After you do that, it's just gonna be a small chance that this bike will spawn. But I really like this vehicle. Not sure I'd do it again, but hey, that's how you get it. Next is the Romero Hurt. This is a very rare vehicle, purely because you actually can buy this one, but you can only buy it during Halloween. But even then, if you do buy it during Halloween, it's not gonna be the same one. The Hurt that we're gonna be getting today has a dead body in the back. So the only way to get this specific hearse is to do this. And yes, you can actually keep this one. So the best way to do this is start up a diamond casino heist. So you're going to need to own an arcade for this one. You're going to want to start up the setup mission Security Pass 2. So the level 2 Security Pass. There's a couple of missions that you can get here. You're just going to have to keep restarting this mission until you get the one that takes you to the morgue. If you get the mission that takes you to like a pool party where you have to go and steal the security pass that way. That's not the mission you want. You want to restart and get the one that takes you to the morgue. The reason you need to do this mission is because you actually need to be driving a hearse in order to get this other hearse to spawn. Now, if you already own a hearse that you bought during Halloween, awesome. You can just use that one. But if you don't have one, this is what you're going to have to do to get the hearse. So once you've got the right mission, hop in the hearse and drive to the church over here. It's not a 100% guarantee that it's going to spawn. So if it doesn't spawn, just drive away from the church and then drive back. Just keep driving away and driving back to the church until the hearse spawns. After you get the hearse that you want, hop in the new hearse that you spawn and then blow up the hearse that you were using for the mission. That's going to fail the mission, which is actually good because now that means you can actually take the hearse that you're in into your garage and keep it. Next, we're going to be getting a rare BF Surfer. Now, this is actually a car that you can buy, but what we're going to be trying to get here is a rare variant of the Surfer that you can't buy. So the first thing you're going to need to do is buy a surfer and then drive it. Once you're in the surfer, come up over here to the northwest side of the map at this beach here near Fort Zancudo. You're going to want to be here during the daytime and just drive up and down this beach until it spawns in. Again, you just need to drive a fair way away from the spawn location, then drive back to the spawn location. Just keep resetting that spawn over and over again until it spawns. The exact spawn location is right here, as you can see near these gazebos. And we got the red and gold one. It's actually pretty cool. It doesn't have a roof rack with a surfboard on it, which is what makes this kind of a unique variant. It also has gold rims, which is kind of nice. And on your screen here, you can see you can also get a blue and pink variant of it as well. After you've got it, take it to your garage and you can keep it. Next, we're going to get a rare variant of the Blazer. This is the lifeguard variant. It's pretty cool in my opinion. And just like most vehicles, you will need to be driving a Blazer in order to get this Blazer to spawn. So either just buy a normal Blazer for cheap or or find one somewhere around Sandy Shores. They're not too hard to find out there. Once you've got your blazer, head down to Vespucci Beach in the morning. Around 6 to 10 a.m. is the time you want to be here. And just drive up and down the beach. Go to all of the lifeguard huts. Because these are the locations that this blazer can spawn. As you can see, mine spawned right next to this lifeguard hut here. Easy peasy. Take it back to your garage and it's yours. Let's talk about the BF Dune Buggy. Again, of course, the Dune Buggy is a vehicle you can buy. But this is a rare variant of it. This one has no panels on the side. It's kind of a bare bones buggy. To get it, you're going to want to start up the mission Chopper Tail. It's a contact mission. Just scroll through your missions and start it up. Once you're up in Polito Bay, just take any car to the location on your screen here. Now, one of two buggies are going to spawn. If it's the one that has the panels, like you can see on your screen, this actually isn't a bad thing. You can actually keep this one as well. So just drive it to your garage. It has to be your heist apartment garage. It is going to be a bit of a long drive, but hey, you do get a free car out of it. Once you have this one saved, 
left as a personal vehicle, actually take this vehicle, so take the buggy that you just drove to your apartment and drive it back to that same location. Now, the buggy with no panels should spawn. And again, it's not a complete guarantee, so if it doesn't spawn, just drive away and come back. Keep doing that over and over again until you get the buggy with no panels. After you've got it, same thing, drive this one back to your garage, store it, and it's yours. Now, this next car might not look that cool, but it is actually quite rare. This is the washed white Albany Washington. So this one's actually a scientist car. Now what you want to do is go to these satellites up here near the prison. This one's going to spawn around the middle of the day. I got mine at 11 a.m. And there's really not much else to say about this one. It's going to spawn around here in the middle of the day. So again, just keep driving back and forth along the path that I am here until you can get it to spawn in. You should see a scientist on the left and a little further up, you'll see two scientist cars. There's a chance it's going to spawn two vans so if it does just keep repeating it until it spawns one van and one car i was also driving a motorbike personally i haven't seen anyone get this vehicle to spawn when they were driving a car so if you can't get it to spawn while you're driving a car maybe switch over to a bike and give that a go next we have a purple canis kalahari this one's actually going to spawn in the exact same spot as the bf surfer that we got earlier in the video the only difference is this one's going to spawn between 4 p.m and midnight this is a very very, very rare spawn. It took me a couple of hours to get. Unfortunately, you can't keep this one either, so it's up to you if you want to farm it, but it does look very cool. And again, in the exact same spot, we have a BF Bifter. You can't keep this one either, which kind of sucks, but if you want to farm it, go ahead. Next is probably one of the most rare vehicles in the entire game. It's the Beach Tractor. So what's so interesting about this tractor? Well, it only spawns on the beach. There have been rumors that it can spawn at the Vinewood racetrack, but I personally have never seen it there. But what's cool about it is it's a tractor that's towing a rake. A lot of people say this is a cultivator. Let me know if you think this is a cultivator or a rake. This one's very hard to get. It's going to spawn right here on the beach between 5 a.m. and midday. I tried this. I had a friend and myself trying to find this. We had to have tried this for about 10 hours. It was so long. But what finally got it to spawn for us was when we started driving a tractor ourselves. Tractors, you can find them out in Sandy Shores. They can be kind of hard to find. I found my tractor by starting up an Acid Lab source mission. There is a source mission for your Acid Lab that can take you out to Grapeseed where you can just steal a tractor. After you have a tractor, you're going to have to drive it all the way from like Sandy Shores right down to the beach down here. It's going to take a while. Then head over to the beach at 5 a.m. between 5 a.m. and midday and there's a chance that it'll spawn. It's such a strange vehicle because once you have one of them, a ton of them are probably going to spawn. Spawn. Unfortunately, you can't keep it, but this is one of the most rare vehicles in the game. So if you do want to flex on a friend and show them your cool tractor with a rake on the back, go ahead. Next, we have ambulance helicopters or really just any variants of the Maverick helicopter. You can also get police helis. To get these to spawn, it's pretty simple. You just need to be flying a helicopter and then fly around to a bunch of the helicopter spawns on the map. So check all of the police stations, check the hospital. As you can see here, I got the ambulance helicopter to spawn on top of the Vinewood police station. I've also had it spawn before down at the hospital as well. Unfortunately, you can't keep it, but still, I think it's pretty cool to fly around in an ambulance helicopter, but maybe that's just me. This is the pink limo. Now, the easiest way to get this one to spawn is to actually be driving a limo yourself. The best place to find one, if you don't already own one, is all across the top of the city here in Vinewood. Once you have one, keep driving in loops around this area at the top of the city here and the pink limo is going to spawn out front of the cockatoos nightclub last video i showed you how to get the tornado mariachi but there's also several variants of the rusty tornadoes as well this one spawned at the medical center in sandy shores and that's going to be the location where you have the most luck. There's multiple different rusty versions like red and blue. And the rarest one is a sea wash green color that you can't normally get on cars. So if you can manage to get one in that sea wash green, that would be a real flex. To increase the spawn rate of the tornado, buy a tornado yourself or find a different one on the street. Because for whatever reason, if you're in the car that you're looking for, more of them will spawn. 
Spawn. If you do manage to get one, you can take it to Benny's for a custom upgrade with the rare colors. You can't actually purchase these colors, you can only find them and then upgrade them through Benny's. So for that reason, this vehicle is very rare. Next on the list is the rare modded Ruiner. Now in order to get this one to spawn, first thing you want to do is get a Ruiner, either one that you already own or one you find on the street. You can find the regular ones all around the city, they shouldn't be that hard to find. From there, head to the LS Customs that's in the city, and it will eventually spawn in this car park here. Just keep driving past the car park, drive a few hundred meters away, and then come back. Just keep doing that over and over until it spawns in. I already had one when I was recording this clip, so it's kind of funny seeing two of them in the exact same location. But you can tell it's the rare variant when it's got a different color scheme to the normal ruiners you see, as well as a spoiler on the back. Next is the white utility trucks. Now there's a few different variants of these ones. The one I got in this video was the Johnny Shapiro gas specialist one. And there's also a few others you can get like the O'Connor's landscaping. And there's actually phone numbers on the side of the trucks that you can call. If you call it, you're just gonna get music playing, but still kind of cool. This truck's actually really cool because you can put a motorbike in the back and it's not gonna fall out. If you wanna find one of these, the best place is in Cypress Flats, basically anywhere from the LS car meet and further the south. Just keep going up and down that road and they'll eventually start spawning. I've personally even found one very close to Lester's house, so even a bit further north than this. But really, your best bet is going to be driving up and down the road that the LS car meet is on. One of the coolest cars on this list is this next one, the Class Lifeguard. Now, in order to find the rare variant of this one, you're actually going to need to own your own lifeguard. So in order to do that, a go buy one from Warstock is going to cost a fair bit, I believe $850,000. But these other lifeguards won't spawn unless you have one of your own. Once you're in one, drive down to Vespucci Beach. There's multiple spawn locations across the beach. This is where I found mine down here. Hop out of your lifeguard, jump into the other one. First off, you would notice that the other one doesn't have a bull bar. But what's interesting is you can actually take it to Los Santos Customs, put a tracker on it, and then buy full coverage, meaning that you now own that vehicle and you can put it in your garage. Once you have it in your garage and you own the vehicle, then take it to your Avenger with the vehicle workshop in the back and you can fully customize it. You can tint windows, add lots of modifications, armor, all that good stuff. And at that point, it's basically treated like a normal personal vehicle. Really cool. One of the best vehicles on this list. Shout out to Harm None for finding this one. Let's talk about one of the strangest looking vehicles in the entire game, the Skylift Helicopter. Well, as of 2019, you can officially fly this vehicle around in free roam. In order to do it, it's a little bit difficult though. You have to call Miss Baker, request casino work, and you have to get lucky and get the mission called One-Armed Bandits. Once you do that, basically complete the mission. It'll have you steal a Skylift and collect a cargo crate. But once you finish that mission, Miss Baker will call you saying, do whatever you want with the helicopter. So essentially, you get to keep it until it blows up. This thing is absolutely huge. And if you're flying this around in free roam, you're no doubt gonna have other players questioning what the heck is going on. So, have fun with it. Next is the Dock Tug. This one is very, very hard to get. You'll find this one just on the street. The best location to try and get this to spawn is Elysian Island down at the bottom of the map. Keep driving up and down and around this island, and hopefully, eventually, it will spawn. I wouldn't actually recommend trying to get this one, though, because you can't keep it, and it would take hours and hours to get. This took hours for me to find, and even though it's kind of cool to drive around for a bit, it's just not worth farming for hours just for a vehicle you can't keep. Next, we have three very rare Arena War vehicles. The first one here is the Clown Car, the Clown Van. In order to get this one, you have to reach sponsorship level 75 in Arena Wars. Now that's likely gonna take you a very, very long time. If you did wanna try and get it, the fastest way to get Arena War rep is by going into your Arena War workshop, if you have one, walking over to this door here. This is gonna put you in a little spectating area. While you're in here, you can spend $5,000 to spin the wheel. As you can see on the wheel here, one of the things you can win is a few hundred arena points. Funnily enough, continuously spinning this wheel is a lot faster than actually playing Arena Wars. If you thought the clown van was rare though, at level 500 in Arena Wars, you're going to get the Space Docker, which is the alien car in GTA Online. 
That's right, I said level 500. Now, if you're wondering how long that's gonna take you, people who have this vehicle, which is about 0.01% of players, have posted online that it's gonna take you about 30,000 spins to reach level 500. That is absolutely mental. That's over a day of playtime only spinning the wheel in order to get it. This might be the second most rare vehicle in all of GTA Online. If you actually want to use it, your best bet is jumping into single player, gonna be honest. But the most rare vehicle in all of Grand Theft Auto Online is undoubtedly the Rusted Tractor. Why is that? Well, in order to get this one, you have to be rank 1000 in Arena Wars. Yes, 1000. I actually wonder if there's a single player who has got this legit. If there is, there's got to be less than 10 of them in the world. What you're seeing on your screen here is demo footage that was not able to get this vehicle myself. If you are insane enough to try and get it, I need to know what you're taking, honestly, because I could use some of that. And this is undoubtedly the most rare vehicle in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. It's this rare rat loader. This waypoint here is where this vehicle will spawn, and it's a pretty tough one to get, I won't lie. And as you can see here, we got it to spawn, but don't let the footage fool you, this actually took a very long time of driving back far away from the spawn location and then driving back to where it spawns again, sort of just going back and forth, refreshing the game to hopefully get this thing to spawn in. Most players have reported that they've got this one to spawn during daylight hours, and a lot of people have also said that if you're driving a muscle car yourself, then and this vehicle has a higher chance to spawn. So that's what we did. But again, I can't really confirm if that's true or not because that would take hundreds and hundreds of hours of testing just to get this one vehicle. To be safe, I would recommend just driving a muscle car just in case and then driving back and forth across Polito Bay. You're gonna wanna drive a few hundred meters away like you can see here, then turn around, come back and hope that it spawns. The one I got here was in yellow, but it can also spawn in green. So keep an eye out for either of these two vehicles. It is really cool. The second car on this list is a really rare Sand King. This is probably my second favorite vehicle on this list. This thing looks awesome. So to get this one to spawn, you want to come out to Sandy Shores. And the spawn location is right around here where this arm wrestling is. And just like the rat loader, the same sort of thing is going to apply. You're going to want to drive a few hundred meters away, then drive back to this location. Basically just so the game keeps refreshing what vehicles will spawn in this area and then hope that it spawns. Just like the rat loader as well, there are a couple of things you can do in order to increase the spawn rate of this one. The first one is again, go in daylight hours. Apparently this one only spawns during the day. And to increase your chances, people have said they've had more luck when they're driving a Sand King themselves. So that's what I did here. This final method, we can't really say if it works at all, but most players who have got this vehicle have turned their camera off all the way to the right and only look back left when they pass where the vehicle could spawn. That's what I did, I, it worked. I can't say if it'll spawn if you don't do it because I didn't test that. But as you can see here, this vehicle is awesome. It's a big bopper as well. One of the cooler vehicles in the game in my opinion. Just like the last vehicle as well, we got this one in yellow, but it can spawn in blue. Next, we've got three different variants of lowriders corresponding to the individual gangs within GTA 5. You can look for either a yellow or a purple vapid peyote. Yellow is for the Vargos, purple is for the ballers, and you can also look for a green buccaneer which represents the family's gang. This waypoint is where we found the Vargos lowrider, but basically you're gonna wanna circle around these blocks here and you can even see Grove Street on the top left of the screen here. So continue circling around this area, checking all of the car parks and the sides of streets, especially in Grove Street and good luck. The next one is my favorite vehicle on this list. It's an ultra rare dubster. This is the most difficult vehicle on this list to get. Now, in order to get this one to spawn, you actually need to be driving a dubster yourself. Now, there's two ways to do this. Well, two somewhat easy ways to do this, so I'm gonna recommend them to you. If you own a casino penthouse, you can actually request a vehicle from Miss Baker by just calling her up, requesting a vehicle, and then you can call in your own dubster. The other way to spawn one of these in is if you're a road captain in someone else's MC club. 
if you do that you can go to the vehicles tab in the mc interaction menu there and spawn one in as well once you're driving your dubster there's two possible places you can go you can either go to the ls customs at the bottom of the map down near the airport or you can go to the ls customs that's near vinewood which is the one that we did here probably the most popular one in the city once you've got your dubster just like the previous vehicles you want to drive far away from the ls customs and then drive back and keep doing that over and over until this vehicle spawns in this one took me a couple of hours but in my opinion it was well worth it look at how cool this dumpster is man that is incredible in my opinion i don't know maybe you got different car tastes but this thing looks absolutely awesome in my eyes this one will probably take you a while but again i think it's worth it good luck if you try to do it next up this vehicle is a guaranteed spawn but it requires a few things for you to do to actually get it and it's kind of somewhat difficult we're going to be getting the tornado mariachi now, you may think this is a common vehicle, but this is actually a very rare variant of this one that has guitars in the back, and you can't normally get that. In order to get it, you're going to want to come up to this exact location on the map, and I mean exact location, like come right here. You need to be standing in this exact spot at 7 p.m. or 1900 on your phone, so I'd recommend getting here a bit before if you can, you know, maybe around, let's say, 1830, 1840, and you need to be facing Mount Chiliad, okay? You can see Mount Chiliad off in the distance there we're looking that way that's because this car is going to spawn behind us so we pull out our phone here as soon as it gets to 7 p.m or 1900 on your phone i normally wait a second or two and then you want to turn around and as you can see here there's some people in the mariachi that has spawned over there and they're being chased by cops now this is actually kind of an easter egg to a movie i'll let you guys in the comments tell me which movie this is but what i want you to do is turn around snipe the drivers out of the mariachi then you can hop on your oppressor or whatever vehicle you're on and fly over there and take it now be warned it is very hard to get this off the actual mountain what you're probably gonna want to do is call lester as soon as you get in the car because you will have the cops on you and i've actually lost this car and didn't actually take it to my garage or los santos customs to be able to store it as my own because I tried to drive it off the cliff and got it stuck and it just ended up being stuck forever. So play it safe, call Lester, get the cops off you and then turn around and drive off this mountain safely once you have it. Next is a pretty fun car just to mess around in. It's the Heavy Dozer. You can actually get this one to spawn. It's kind of rare. You just want to drive up and down this street here. Now, of course, you can't keep this vehicle once you get it to spawn, but it's kind of fun to mess with friends in this thing or just drive around and destroy civilians' cars or maybe even other players if you can do it but you'll probably get blown up anyway pretty fun vehicle good luck trying to get it next we have a very rare sentinel xs this is a really cool looking car now yes you can buy the sentinel xs but this is a rare variant of it and you will be able to keep this one as well so instead of paying the sixty thousand that you would normally you can get this one for free this car is only going to spawn at night time in the vinewood area out front of the eclipse hotel it will really spawn anywhere between the eclipse apartments up there and the tequila la bar that sounds very weird in an Australian accent. I just realized the bar that is named Tequila La, to clarify. Sorry for the confusion. I'm, I'm an Aussie. Just like all the other vehicles drive up and down this road, Rockstar will keep spawning more cars in as you do it. It's going to be in this really nice sort of purple-ish color. And it looks just beautiful, in my opinion. You can also upgrade this car to an HSW vehicle. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool to say, yeah, this is my HSW vehicle. I stole it off the street. Really feels like something Grand Theft Auto E to do. I don't know. Good luck trying to get it. This car's awesome. Next on the list is a rare FIB emergency vehicle. Now, there's a pretty easy way to get this one. What you want to do is set yourself up as a CEO or a VIP. And and then start up the VIP work called Hostile Takeover. Once you do that, come down to the airport where it should tell you to go. Take out the guys that are carrying the briefcase and there'll be an FIB emergency vehicle there for you to steal. When you start up this mission though, make sure you choose the location LSIA so that you'll get this mission and not some other one. Unfortunately, you can't store and save this vehicle. We have Rockstar to thank for that. Hopefully Cops and Crooks comes out one day, but probably not. But it's a pretty cool car to drive around as like an undercover cop in and maybe try and arrest some players. Eh, probably not. You'll probably just get blown up, but you know. Next, we're going to be spawning a rare police bike. To do this, come over to the store on the right side of the map right here. You're going to want to rob this store between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. You can wait out front, wait till it's 11, and then go in and do it. Once you do this, you're going to get two stars. You're also going to need to be on a bike yourself to do this. So watch what I do here. I rob the store. You want to come over exactly 
exactly to where I do here. Wait on this white arrow. Then you'll see on your map that a cop spawns, kind of just on your map here. That will be the rare police bike. So once you see that cop spawn, chase him down in your bike and kill him and you can drive the bike. Unfortunately, like the FIB vehicle, all the emergency vehicles can't be stored yourself, which kind of sucks, but it's pretty cool and pretty fun to drive around. Next up is a slam van. Now you can't buy this vehicle and you can't actually keep it by doing this method, but I'll show you how to spawn it in nonetheless. This will spawn in a lot of missions where the Lost chase you down, spawns in the last dose missions, or you can do it in the Alkanost prep for your Kaya Heist, like I do here. However, if you want to be able to keep this one, let's, let's get into the numbers here. It is absolutely crazy. You can win this one by getting the mystery gift on the casino wheel, which is a 1 in 20 chance. Then people are saying the chances of getting this vehicle, if you get the mystery gift, is 1 in 20,000. That's how rare this vehicle is to actually get and keep. I wonder how many people actually have this car. It's got to be like, what, less than 10, right? The final rare car we'll be going over is a variant of the Vapid Speedo, which is actually the van you use for your nightclub. In order to spawn this one in, start up the mission called Court Napping. As soon as you spawn in, hop in your oppressor or any flying vehicle and head over to this location as fast as you possibly can. If you do that, the Speedo should spawn in. You can see it's a rare variant because it has some trash in the back of it and that doesn't spawn in the normal one. Kind of a cool thing to show off to your friends. Boys. Nice.